guys, it's Tom, and I have, like, a quick haul for you guys. Um, I haven't really been making videos, so I thought, well, if I can make a quick haul, then that's great, you know what I mean? So, hey guys, it's Tom, and I wanted to make a quick video because I haven't made a video in a little while, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be a haul video. <laughs> uh, dumb. Hey guys, it's Tom, and um, I wanted to make a video. Hey everyone, I have a haul for you guys today. I um, I don't know if you guys have known, but I have a job now, a full-time job, so I've been um, working a lot, and I've had money to buy things, but whoa, the lighting just got really bad, right? Alright, that's perfect. Okay, so, I work at a front desk at a hotel that's Paris Hilton's grandfather's hotel. I'm not really sure, but I think it's pretty cool. But I um, have been saving up my paycheck, so I haven't really been buying a lot of things. I went shopping the other day, and I got a few things that I wanted at Sephora and Mac. So, um, yeah, it's not like a really big haul at all, but it's just like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just going to get into it. First, though, my birthday was last week, and... A cute little subscriber of mine, Vanessa Gonzalez, um, she sent me a birthday gift, which was amazing. Ooh, what the hell just happened to me? She sent me a birthday gift, which was flawless. Like, it made my day so better. So better? So much better. Not to mention, I had to work a 7 o'clock to 3 o'clock shift in the morning on my birthday. So, me waking up and not having my beauty sleep sucked okay so I'll show you guys what she got me and like it's kind of crazy though because like she literally bought all these things for my birthday and it's just it's really sweet of her so um I got a letter first so I'll read the letter really quick mm -hmm. I have to get my Miss America speech getting going getting going oh my god I'm such a failure in life okay so this is what it looks like she said dear Tom firstly I wanted to say that I truly hope you like the goodies I sent you I honestly hardly do this shit you should already know I'm a complete bitch I know we have yet to meet in person just know I'm here for you shit if you were to hop in a plane today I would gladly pick your ass up and bring you to my nest lol <laughs> um, haha, ha, I promise I'm not a creep and I don't know if you guys can see this but she wrote it in like bubbles like a bubble thing so she also said alright let me wrap your shit keep in touch and make more videos follow me oh crap follow me around videos I am having the worst time talking today all right, let me know how you like everything and excuse my handwriting. Haha, <laughs> love you, Tommy. Continue to be you, please. Okay, so yeah, it was a cute little letter. And Vanessa, if you're watching this, thank you so much for my gifts that I'm about to show. And I've been using them, girl, and you'll notice that. Anyway, she got me one, two, three, four, five, six things. And they are all from Philosophy. If you guys have never heard of Philosophy, go research their products right now. They make perfect, flawless bubble baths. Um, Three-in-one shampoo, shower gel, um, bubble baths products. They have perfumes. They have, oh, they have so many things. Anyway, the first thing she got me was a bubble bath in Cafe Olat. I'm not really sure if I said it right. But I think in a store this stuff is like 20 bucks, and um, it's a high foaming shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. Um, this smells like coffee, like cappuccino. Ooh. Yeah, it smells... I, um, personally, I don't think I would have bought this myself, but it's definitely, it smells really good, so why wouldn't I use it? So, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, this is really awesome. 
I um I don't know if you guys know who Gregory Gorgeous is, but Gregory Gorgeous had a video. Um, Gregory Gorgeous, Gregory Gorgeous had a video, and he had a philosophy bubble bath. Um, in one of his favorites videos, and he talked about how he tasted it to see if it actually was edible and like tasted good. So me on my birthday with my friends, all in my bedroom, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna see if this stuff tastes good. So I took some and I tasted it. Ah, uh, that was the worst thing I could have ever done. It was so horrible. It, the chemicals, like, almost made my tongue fall off. It was horrible. And, like, when I was spitting the stuff out, I literally had bubbles coming out of my mouth. It was bad. Okay, so she also got me bubblegum flavored of this stuff, but it's smaller. Bubblegum blowout. And it literally smells <laughs> like queefs. I'm only kidding. It really smells like bubble gum, and I um, put this stuff in my hair, and I was like, I'm gonna have bubble gum smell on her, but it didn't really smell like bubble gum, so it really made me sad. But it still works really good for bubble baths and stuff like that, and it smells delicious. She also gave me um, this is ultimately ultimately blah ultimately my favorite scent from the um, philosophy brand, but this is. Oh, I thought I got makeup on it. This is vanilla birthday cake. And this is a sample size. And I'm literally going to buy this one. Like, this is so good. And um, if you know me, you know I love, like, vanilla anything. Vanilla cupcakes, vanilla birthday cake. So, I like that scent. And there's also a pink, pink layered cake or something. And so... I also got a beach party lip gloss from her. Alright, so she also got me this lip gloss called Beach Party from Philosophy. And um, it smells like, I don't know if it smells like coconut or vanilla birthday cake. I guess it kind of smells like coconut, but it has little sparkles in it. I don't know if you can really see. I hate when people do this with their hand, but I'm literally doing it to see if you can see but I don't think you can. Um, she also got me pink sugar bath salts. And I haven't used them yet, but I haven't smelt them either until now, but they actually smell really delicious. Yeah, but I'll use these sooner or later. She also got me this cute perfume. It's perfume oil. It's called Falling in Love by Philosophy. And I wish you guys can smell this through the, um, the camera. Mm. Vanessa, if you're watching this, just know I use this stuff all the time on my wrist. I'll use it right now, girl. Um, if, when I go to Sephora, if Philosophy has this in a bigger thing, I'm totally buying it because it smells really good. But I don't want to have to keep rolling it. I want to spray it. But anyway... Um, that's what she got me for my birthday, which was so lovely. I, um, came home from work that day, and then I saw a package in my bedroom, so I was like, yeah! It was a very nice thing to come home to. Alright, so with my first paycheck, I bought a few things. Not a lot, like I said. Um, I bought myself a self-tanner, because with going to work and stuff, um, I don't really have enough time to be out in the sun. Um, so... I also wanted to try this, but I got Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse Self Tan. Um, my best friend talked me into getting a smaller bottle in case I hated it, and um, I did. This was like thirty bucks. I'm not really sure. I think it was like thirty, but it actually. Um, what you do is you put it on, and. You rub it all over your body and it dries in like 60 seconds. And uh, you have to make sure you wash your hands really well when you get done applying it and stuff. I'll probably make a separate video about this stuff. Um, but it's really good stuff and it really does make you look tan. It doesn't make you orange. Um, it lasts for like a week. You can shower with it and it doesn't come off. It fades of course but... It, like, stays on for at least a week, and it's pretty cool stuff. And, um, it has a really pleasant smell to it. Yeah, it doesn't smell like a self-tanner. It smells, like, kind of like perfume. It's not bad stuff. 
Alright, so I hit up Mac. I, um, got three things from Mac because I didn't, I promised myself I wasn't going to buy too much makeup. So I only got three things. I got Fix Plus. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but I use, like, most of it. Well, not most of it. A little bit of it. I take this to work with me every day, and if my face is feeling dry, I spray it. Yep. Now my face is really moist. But I like this stuff. Um, I only... I only used this once the day I got it when I had makeup on. I haven't really been wearing makeup lately because I work, like I said. So, um, I only used this once when I had makeup on. And it actually set my makeup really well that I didn't have to touch up all day. And I usually have to touch up every single day. I mean, every... Oh my god! I quit. This is horrible. I usually have to touch up, like, every hour. So... That was a save. I got two lipsticks from MAC, so yeah. I um, got Myth, I don't know if you can see that, but Myth is just a nude color. And I don't really feel like wearing it right now, but I did a swatch of it, and I don't know if you can really see, but it's just a really pale color and you can google it if you don't know what it looks like but yeah it's a nude lipstick i also got angel from mac which is a pink color that i have on right now which is right here it's this one sorry I don't know which one I was pointing to. Yeah. And I got myself a little like perfume thing to bring to um, work with me. Because I like to go like this. Like that. Every like hour at work. And I only had this for literally a week. And I don't know if you can see this, but I used a lot of it. So, work is killing me with my Fix Plus and this stuff, because I always bring this stuff. I don't know. But, yeah, those are the things I've been buying lately. Um, I'm getting a car in about two weeks. Um, my mom's taking me to get a car from a dealership that I, I wanted for, like, my entire life. Well, not really my entire life, but when I kind of got interested in driving. I'm not going to say what it is until I get it, and I'll make a video with my car. But, yeah, so a car for me in, like, two weeks, hey. Um, I start college in August, so I'll be a full-time college student and a full-time worker. So I might not have a lot of time for videos, but I do plan on getting a really good HD camera. And I plan on getting an area set up over on the side of my room with a vanity, with all my makeup, with um, studio lighting, and a really nice camera. So I can just sit there, do my makeup videos, and have really good lighting so I'm not all discolored and orange and dark and stuff like that where you can actually see the true color of my makeup, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching and make sure you add me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. The links will be down below. Bye.